Okay, I'm gonna do one more here. This one's just sort of a talking head video. I'm gonna talk about division. I haven't talked about it in a while. It's something I've spoke out against for eight eight years or so now. Division. Okay. Fighting division. Trying to get people to understand how bad the division is. Why the wars are going on. And why history replays itself and how these people at the top are getting by with what they're getting by with and the biggest reason they're getting by with what they're getting by with is from division that is the number one tool of politics it is the number one tool of wars it is the number one tool used to destroy the family unit. It is the number one tool used to destroy society, any society globally, doesn't matter what country you're in. Division is a tool that's used on all levels, straight across the board. There's no discrimination in it. The division was created, created deliberately to keep us divided so that we would never rise up globally to stop the powers to be and they have done one hell of an excellent job with their division program their division program goes from the job site to the sports arenas to everything you've ever done in your life everything's been divided we have a girls bathroom we have a boys bathroom we have one of the Cubs baseball team and we have maybe the Red Sox another baseball team we have football we have the Broncos and we have the whatever the Patriots whatever okay and I'm not a sports fanatic by the way but you know what I'm talking about on the job site we got the one that's the popper one that's not the popper when it comes to genders, we got the one that's the good looking one and one that's the geek or the ugly one, right? Everything straight across the board in your entire life has been divided for you. Everything. And it's this division and this mindset of everything's a sport and arena. You gotta warm up somebody else. Come on, look around you. You live in a dog eat dog world where nobody cares about nobody and the way you move to the top is to run over people. To step all over other human beings and not give a flying fuck, excuse my language, about what you do to them, what their feelings or emotions are, and who cares, right? <coughs> but at the same time, you wouldn't want that happening to you. But you give it no second thought, so what? It didn't happen to me. And then when it does happen to you, you whine and cry about it because you didn't like what you were doing onto somebody else and came back and done onto you. It's disgusting. And look how we've accepted lying. Look at the truth. The lying itself. Everybody says it's normal to lie nowadays. It's perfectly normal to lie. It's okay to lie. Yeah. And then I fall out of my seat laughing at all of you fools. Because all of you fools sit there and say how it's normal to lie, it's okay to lie, there's nothing wrong with lying. And then on the other hand, every last one of you also say, but you don't want to be lied to. And then I fall out of my seat laughing. Because that's not possible. <laughs> I mean, you have to be suffering some pretty bad brain damage to actually believe that it can be normal to lie but not everybody lies and there's nothing wrong with that but then you don't want to be lied to can you please I've asked this before and nobody ever answers you know why you don't answer because there is no answer outside of peer stupidity please tell me how that works how it can be normal for everybody to lie but nobody wants to be lied to see this is the type of stuff right here, division. This is going to get you all dead. It allows history to replay itself every single time. 
It really does. I'm not lying to you about that. That's exactly what it does. It allows history to replay itself. The powers to be, well, you know where they get the power. Most of you probably know this, but you don't care, right? Or are you just going to tell yourself we can't do anything about it? They get their power from you, allowing them to do what they're doing. No lie. You know, and it's also like this. You say, well, it's too, well, it is way gone overboard. I'll agree with you that. The division and everything that's going on in this world has so far gone overboard, it's not funny. When it comes to NWO, I've said it before. You cannot defeat what's already here. You can maybe change it. See, this world's made up of us, the people. What happens on this planet is by us, the people. And of us, the people did not want this to happen, then why is it happening? It's as simple as that. You know why it's happening, and so do I. Because the majority of people are scared. Shaking in their shoes. Or just don't want to know because they don't want to feel scared. You know, it's like Inferno Schaefer or Schaefer over there, you know, when he talked about, when he made a statement to me once, the reason nobody wants to talk about loneliness is because nobody wants to feel lonely. So that's the reason you never addressed the issue, because you didn't want to feel it, so you turned your back to it. You know, and when you turn your back to what's going on and you allow this division to happen, and you're not smart enough to figure out that this vintage division is getting you dead, you will die of stupidity. You will die of ignorance, of dumbness, of insanity. Because you're not smart enough to figure out that the reason this world's in the shape it in is, is, is because of those people that are sitting on this planet, don't matter what land you're and it can be changed if we wanted it changed, but it's obvious you don't want it changed. This hasn't happened to anybody overnight. This has been a long, drawn-out plan. The division is the number one tool. That is the number one tool. And the division, you know, you got lots of people up here. You got tattoo. I mean, you got lots of people that speaks out, right? But how many of you people speak out about division? You know, let's look at logic over there. It does a damn good job. I like the guy a lot. He tried to bring people together. All oh, that lasted maybe three weeks. Over with, done, forgotten about. It's like nobody comes together. You know, I give him hands up for trying to bring people together. I've sent the message out more than one time that we need to work together. We all need to start getting together and standing together globally. That the only way we're ever going to beat this evil is to stand together. Nobody wants that. The majority of people that are on YouTube that are plants, that is, are here for their own selfish gain. They're here for the wrong reason to begin with. This is why you can't get together, isn't it? That's correct. And you can't stay focused long enough to put anything together anyhow. So you've already lost. What can I say? You've lost. You can't win. It's not possible. See, the powers to be just didn't come together for two or three or four times. Just never come together again. The powers to be isn't worried about their own selfishness, their publicity, their fame. No, not at all. They make long-term plans, and I mean long-term plans. The powers to be are the ones that brought you TFL. Powers to be are the ones that brought to the feminist movement. 
powers to be and what to bring to Hollywood, all the movies and the fluff and stuff that you watch. Powers to be are the ones that brought you 9-11, the Oklahoma City bombing. And the list goes on and on and on and on and on nonstop. And it's the division that's allowed all this to happen the whole entire time. It's that very division. You never thought about the fact that sports is division, it's programming, it's social conditioning. It teaches you to be acceptable that we have this team over here and this team over here. Look how they treated each other in the game when you get somebody's for one team and somebody's for another team and some fans from one team beat the hell out of another person just because they're wearing a jersey with the opposite team because they're for the other team. <coughs> Send them to a hospital and tell me that's not division. See, that's the program. You got so hard into your sports that you didn't care if you beat the hell out of another human being. All because they liked the team that you didn't like. They got you right where they want you. The division is your enemy. But you can't get that through your heads. And then your own selfishness, your want to promote your blogs. Maybe you got three or four blogs, you do videos, and do you want to promote yourself and promote yourself and promote yourself and promote yourself and then say that you're, you know, you know, and you're telling people and you're trying to help people. Are you really trying to help people? Are you about your own self and your own publicity? Think about that. That's why we can't work together. I mean, come on, there's people out here right now that already know full well what I'm talking about. And we still can't work together. So you already know who won, don't you? Sure to hell at you. You can't win. You've already lost. Because division has stomped your ass. You know, and that's just it. Everything's division, division, division. The number one tool of the New World Order, politics, of the governments and bankers. And the reason that's the number one tool is because the biggest threat, the biggest threat and scare the scares the powers to be to no end is if people stop the division they would rise together if they rose together and did not cooperate they would have no militaries there would be no military industrial complex because pretty much ninety percent of all the military would say ha 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 no we're not and just not cooperate they can't court-martial and imprison everybody that says no at one time. Wouldn't do them any good. They'd have no military. And if all the law enforcement officers all at the same time say no, we're not arresting these people, what are they going to do? Do you follow what I'm saying? You know what they're going to do? Nothing. You know why? Because they get their power from us listening. So regardless if you're a Fed, if you're a highway trooper, if you're a cop, if you're in the military in America, the military in Germany, the military in China, the military in Russia, don't matter. You're all divided. Meanwhile, all the governments are going to the United Nations and they're making their plans and they're pitting us against each other. If Russia attacks America, America or its government already knew Russia was going to be here on what date and where. And they already knew that Russia was going to attack us because they talked about it in the United Nations they made the plans to do it, and they'll sit back and play you for dumb on your mainstream media. And this is what wars have always been for a long time now. All of the governments have been in bed with the bankers for neons. What do you think the United Nations is about? It's not about preventing. It's about all the governments getting together and making the plans how they're going to pit me and you against each other. And it's that very division. And us being scared that has allowed them to win. And we can't even get together here on YouTube and stand up as one. Let alone anywhere else in the streets, can we? And since we can't get together and we can't work together, they won. Because the number one to us always been division. But you people just can't see that, can you? 